In the 1970s, American fundamentalists came up with their own version of science, scientific creationism. Creationists based their core principles not on observation and experiment, but on the Bible. The Creation Museum in Kentucky was set up in 2007 to give Christians a history of the natural world that fits with a literal interpretation of the Bible. Amazing to think really about one in 500 Americans have already been to see this exhibition, even in its first year. That, that could have a lot of influence on opinion. The, Lord God said, it is not. the Bible states that God created the universe and all life on Earth in six days. So dinosaurs and the Garden of Eden. That's scary. <laughs> if you take the Old Testament literally, dinosaurs and humans must have lived at the same time. It's, it's amazing, really. Um, we've got we've got human beings fully clothed, collecting carrots with the friendly dinosaurs in the background. I mean, it's a nice kind of Disneyland scene, but it, it, it totally contradicts the, the fossil record. One of the museum's resident scientists, Jason Lyle, agreed to talk to me. I was curious to know how he reconciles his faith in the biblical account of creation with contradictory scientific evidence. This beautiful display has lots of dinosaur figures in it. And a lot of the implication of the creationist story is that dinosaurs and human beings coexisted. Yes, on the Earth. That's right. Uh, I don't know of any evidence for that and know of a great deal of evidence against it. So why do you believe that? Well, ultimately, it's because God has told us in his word that God, he made all of the uh, land animals. Dinosaurs were land animals because they walked on their legs. Uh, they, made on, they were made on the sixth day, the same day as Adam, so they definitely lived at the same time. But you're a scientist. Yes, I am. You're, you're an astrophysicist. Yes. And you say you, that's your position because you, you believe it, because you read it. Uh, what about experiments? What about evidence? Well, I would say that, uh, you know, I, I believe in experimentation. In fact, I would expect that that would be possible because God upholds the universe in a consistent, logical way. And so I would expect that science would be possible because of my faith. And what if experimentation and observation yielded evidence that appeared to con contradict the statements in the scriptures? Well, that can always happen. But since, uh, you know, our mind isn't perfect and since uh, we, you know, our observations aren't always perfect, if we find some experiment that seems to, on the surface, disagree with the Word of God, we go with the Word of God. If you're saying that when science contradicts the scripture, it's the scripture that you have to turn to, that's what's really correct, then why bother with science? Well, the Bible tells us that we need to care for the earth. God gave us uh, responsibility for this earth. In order to do that, we have to know some things about it. And therefore, I think that the mandate for doing science is scriptural. And so I might, I might challenge my non-Christian colleagues and say, what is your basis for doing science? I have a reason to do it. I have a reason to expect that it, that it can re yield reliable results. Because well, I God can made tell you why I do science, because I want to find out how things work. I want yeah. to reveal the, the beauty of the natural world. Fair enough, fair enough. But you know, as a Christian, I would say the reason I can trust that the methods of science, uh, for the most part, are reliable is because God has made my mind, God has made the universe. I would expect those two things would go well together. I have to say it's a pretty weird place, really. What I found really weird, though, was that Jason, who's an established scientist, that's undeniable, can hold such extreme views. I mean, he seemed to be saying that science is fine as long as it generates results and findings that fit the views of the church. And when it doesn't, they simply can't be right, can they? Because they contradict faith. Uh, I really wonder whether that reveals a fundamental contradiction between Christianity, religion, uh, and science. It need necessarily be that way, but it is a real difficulty. I mean, what is the point of doing science if it's only right when it agrees with the Bible?